Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. I was about to say Coffee Craft. That was Tuesday. <laughs> same time, same week, different day. So today is Games Revisited, episode 13. Ooh, how lucky for us. <laughs> All right, so if you remember from last week, we finished up a couple of things on Tatooine. Then we skipped over to Kashyyyk, where we found a whole bunch of horribleness going on. We kicked some butts, we took some names, we even solved a couple of side quests. And then we logged out in the middle of the Lower Shadowlands, and we had two big things to take care of. The first was to get that last bit of star map taken care of. And the second was to finish fomenting a rebellion, because... Yeah, Zerker Corp has got to go. They even went so far as to rename the the uh, place on the natives. So, uh, yeah, we, we ain't having that. Not having that one bit. So let's go ahead and load up. Ignite some sabers and bring some... <laughs> bring a little something-something to the table. Alright, where are we? We were just here, right? Where is here? Oh, here is the ritual marker. That's right, we killed the beast, we got the sword. Now, I probably should be lying to, um, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name. The Wookiee in charge of things. The exiled king, so to speak. And, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm going to go do the star map first, just in case there, there's something else I really ought to be doing. And just in case I uh, give me a symbol of leadership and authority like to the uh, big bad that starts things that I don't want to get started just yet. Ooh, you do have loot. Okay. I thought we were done collecting bodies, but, you know, I'm sure somebody will buy it. That is how this works, right? Everything you pick up, somebody will buy. Matter of fact, I found out that I've been doing some of the selling wrong. The dude on the space station that we left... Um, that dude apparently pays top dollar for everything. So when we head to Tatooine and we go do all the racing stuff... We are going to uh, take our time and sell him everything we can. Uh oh. I should probably focus on the fight instead of just reacting to the flurry of inches. Although the old man seems to be holding up pretty well this time. Hey! You survived the encounter. Congratulations. I just might keep you around here. Oh. Those things. That's right, and we picked up the TAC clans, so we should be able to help Brother Griff out when we get around to getting to uh, Tatooine. We've looted all these bikes after we took care of the Mandalorians. That being one of the quests we took care of. And 50-50. This is where the star map is, or it is somewhere else. Hmm. Where is that over there? Right. Let me check this part here first. Talk to it. Okay. Nope, not there. Well, my process of elimination, that leads us to this computer here. And some landmines. Let's disable those. I could have come in from that side. Let's finish walking around. Double check. Nothing but the little buggers. Right. Oh, computer. Life forms detected. 
Determining parameters. <laughs> Initiating neural recognition. Yes, there's the thing. Obstacle. I have no doubt it holds what you seek. But good luck getting it operational. Primary neural recognition <laughs> complete. Preliminary match found. Match found? What the... It always muttered something about rejected patterns to me. Begin socialized mm -hmm. interface. Awaiting instructions. Greetings. How's it going? This terminal has not been active for quite some time. Sorry about the uh, critters in the background. I kind of wish I, there was a way to work those out. Alright. Begin socialized interface. Awaiting instructions. Alright. Uh, what is Error. the purpose? Subject displays unfamiliarity to environment. Behavioral reconfiguration will be needed Behavioral before reconfiguration. I am sorry. Okay. I did not mean to confuse you. I will answer questions to the best of my programming limitations. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh... Hmm. Well, let's see Corruption if we can... Corruption resulted in, in gaps oh. appearing in my memory, and in that of the original installation. Mm -hmm. It could be theorized that these gaps are intentional, oh, intentional. but I have no information on that. <laughs> what gaps are missing? Is that really an option? That's really an option. All right, let's give it a shot. I cannot present a non-presence. Perhaps you can ask other questions, and data corruption will become evident. All right, uh, let's go to our Access. star map. Yes, I have found a star map in original system memory. Access is restricted. Access is restricted. Okay. Uh, hmm. Author of the star map is corrupted. Okay. What do I gotta Your do to get access? Requires additional security access. You must be made to match the parameters. <laughs> made I have to been match supplied. the parameters I have been supplied. Uh hmm. And what then if I you are not worthy of further access. You will be rejected as unsuitable. Okay. What will we do to me? Don't know. If you okay. have further questions, ask them now. Ask them now. Access will terminate with success or failure of evaluation. All right. Evaluation Bring on this test. Result will be compared against the pattern in memory. Just act like you Just should. Act like you you should. travel with a Wookiee. Have encountered complications. Hypothetical. You and this Zalbar are captured and separated. If That's you will remain silent, one year in prison for each of you. However, call Zalbar a traitor, and he will serve five years, while you serve none. He is offered the same deal, but if you both accuse the other, you both serve two years. What do you do? What do you so we're going to do the prisoner's dilemma? Uh, <laughs> well, I could go with the incredulous how did you know Zalbar's name, but... I don't think that's going to get me anywhere. Uh, I could go with... I'm not. I'm unsure what he would say. I would accuse him to be safe. I don't think it's going to let me confer with someone else. Uh, I'm not going to bother with how do you know about him. He isn't here. Because i got a funny feeling that it's going to be... Technology. Well, magic, but... You know, sufficient amount technology and all that. So... I... I trust him. Are you I wouldn't sure? say anything. If you turn, you risk two years. Or none at all. If you reply on loyalty, you risk one year. Or five. Your loyalty is dangerous. <laughs> Your companions could take the opportunity to benefit by turning on you. Zalbar's family is mired yeah. in treachery. What loyalty do they know? Your answer is incorrect. Incorrect. Oh, this is probably checking to see if I'm some sort of Sith. Right, you know what? I am sorely tempted to answer the correct answers since it's clearly looking for some Sith answers. But let's see what I want to do if I don't. Worst comes to worst, I can always go back to the last save and uh, pick it up from there. So, where's the money? I refuse to alter. Evaluation must continue. You must match the pattern in memory. Your memory. I must oh. demand honest acceptance of the proper behavior. That is a condition of my programming. <laughs> Whoa. 
What pattern are you that comparing information me against? not available to you. It is a pattern that I have been given as a baseline for baseline security, for security. <laughs> Okay. Continue the your evaluation. The incorrect response will be discounted. No. Future incorrect responses will result in rejection. Hypothetical. You are at war. Are at Deciphering war. an intercepted code. You learn two things about your enemy. A single spot in their defense will be at its weakest in 10 days, and they will attack one of your cities in five days. What do you do with this information? What is the most efficient course of action? All right, so I know weakness that can be exploited in 10 days. They're going to attack in five. Uh... I prepare my forces to attack in 10 days. I do nothing in the city is definitely the right Sith answer. Uh, I subtly reinforce the city while preparing to attack or I eva evacuate my people. Or I could just, you know, take them apart to get the storm up. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Try subtly reinforcing the city while this preparing is to no attack. Decision. I ask again. Do you save your people or abandon them for the sake of the war? Attempting both will merely dilute your efforts. Would you trade really one victory either. for two failures? Alright. And in so evacuate. doing, alert the enemy to their broken codes. They would know yep. that their weakness was exposed. They would reinforce and the war would go on. You save thousands at the expense of victory. You do not match the pattern in memory. Huh. Subject has failed to demonstrate the required behavior. Access denied. This system will purge the subject as false. Defense mode initiated. Defense mode initiated, huh? Okay. Oh. Defense droids. Alright. Then I guess it has begun. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. Before I do any attacks, I... Where's my shield? Yes. Energy shield. Then... Start doing a third saver. Some attacks. We'll get you on the energy shield train. Double down on the power attacks on that guy. And we'll come back to me. Clear the queue real quick. Shield. Then stun. Then stun. Then a flurry of misses. <laughs> Let's go! Oh! Oh, so, oh, somebody's not playing at all. Okay. Uh, oh, Karth. Let's get two med packs in the queue. <laughs> and then, uh. And then some power blasts? Yeah, and you good, sir. Get all that stuff. Get a heal on board. Maybe even two. And then we can get the attacks going. Right, Ready? Let's get the flurry. Leveled up. Oh, please. Get some hit points. 
Maybe some defense. <laughs> All right, treat injury, of course, because he has a skill point. All right, he's gone up as far as the cure line will take him. He does seem to like that valor, which increases all the physical attributes and saving throws by three points. We top that off. It's going to be, and that brings it up to six. Yes, please. Uh, he's got the knight valor, which he also likes using. That increases the, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and... Oh, no. Not the right character level yet. Hmm. I forgot he had the whole disabled droid line of uh, line of effect. Should have double-checked that. Let's go ahead and add... Destroy droid. Because <laughs> that seems like it might be useful. Okay. Accept. Garth, you okay there, buddy? Okay, good. Oh, that's right, because he just bumped up to level 13. Okay. You know what? Let's go ahead. Do that in a new slot. We'll just put it up as a temp slot for now. Okay. Let's try this thing again. Neural scan complete. Analyzing. Analyzing. Well, it would appear initial assumptions about you were incorrect. Secondary scans during battle have revealed much. Under duress, your emotions were easier to read. Programming now instructs that I give you what you seek. Oh. Mm. What did you scan during the battle? That reveal? information is not available. Soon you will recognize the proper course to follow. The star map is yours. This unit okay. has now completed its primary duty and has finished with the subject. Executing final action. Activation of star map commencing. Parameters okay. reset. Stasis initiated. And communication. Well, at least we got the star map. Items received. I like the XP. Well, well, oh. the star map. An ancient artifact of dark side power. Can't um, say I'm surprised. I always knew there was something. I think this is the first time here. we're hearing of this being I wonder an artifact if the star of dark map side has power. Had an effect on the evolution of the creatures here in the Shadowlands. It might explain why it's so dangerous down here. Interesting theory. I suppose we don't have time to test it now, do we? Now that we've got what you came for, we should be heading back up to the treetops. Alright then. A new item. Okay. Star map. That's what we found. Okay. So we got all that squared away. Now it's time to go find uh, Z's father. But first, can no, okay. All right, fine. I'll keep Karth. I was hoping to have the other uh, get um, mission back on the team for this one. It would be fitting for that. I probably should have checked the map anyway. Where am I going? Rare, the ritual marker. Okay, so I'm going to go up to the right. Second right, first left. <laughs> like, like, like I'm trying to get a gallon of milk or something. Oh, no, nothing big. Just trying to start a rebellion. Second right, and then the first left. And uh, yeah, give the sword to the furry looking guy. Don't ask questions. And around the corner. Here we go. 
Dude, you've had all this time to rest up and that's all the health you picked back up? Shame on you. Right. I greet you again. I am humble, hoping you have found the blade of Baka's sword. Imagine, Chieftain Freya? Please tell me that this. having the blade will gain me valuable support. <laughs> I have other questions? No. I think we've answered all the questions we're going to ask. I found the blade. I've decided to kill you. Like, seriously, after all this time, that's still an option? No. I have found the blade. Please let me see it. I must be... I do have it. Please, take it off my hands. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's in it for me? Of course that's an option. Alright, there you go. Take it. It is, it is. It may no, not look like much, but it's very important to relative to our people. Tradition dictates that it be respected. So respected I found it in the hide of a critter. I didn't think I was worthy to search for it, but I realized that was selfish despair. I should have challenged Chandler long ago. Yes, you should have. I'll make it nice now. I have new hope. No, no, no. That's not for a couple thousand years. Oh, wait. Wrong new hope. <laughs> you have led me to this. Perhaps that is what the great beast wanted. You should proceed carefully. Yes, time to take the fight to Chindar himself. Uh, oh. This is one of those subtle choices, isn't it? I dearly, dearly would love to go. Yes, let's take the fight to Chandar himself. Feel the rage. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Alright, we should proceed carefully. I'll climb to the surface as quickly as possible. Try to gather support. You'll have to follow on the paths as soon as you can. We will confront Chandar in the throne room. My people will no longer be slaves. Oh, that we're agreed. All right. Journal entry added. Experience points added. Items lost. Yeah, because we gave him the sword. Before we do anything else, let's go ahead and save this. We don't need that temp save. We do need this save is no longer episode 12 it is episode 13 okay good all right boys buckle up your sabers and prepare for something special all right it's gotta be wonder how long this rebellion is gonna take maybe i should have lunch first This is my first rebellion. What's the etiquette? Do, do, you, do you keep the... Um, is the dinner sword in the left or the right? <laughs> Alright. Onward and forward, past the annoying beasties. I kind of wish they were a decent source of XP, though. Alright, we've looted all the stuff here. Not much else we can do with those guys. Like, seriously, just for a moment, silence. We're running through the underbrush. The most exciting stream in the world. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're getting there, though. This should be... Yeah, because we just found the star map. We... I'm pretty sure we've initiated the... Uh, the rebellion. It's just a matter of getting up there and seeing it through. The question is, how long? How long is that going to take? And then, where do we go from there? I'm thinking of heading back to Terrace. If I can get past the uh, small rock pile. I, the mighty Jedi... Stopped by a rock pile. Uh oh. 
I don't think he's going to be happy to see me. Our spy said the Mad Claw you were sent to kill is on his way right now. Yes. You should have followed the will of Chundar. Now you will face his wrath. Not bloody likely. Alright. Force whirlwind you, force whirlwind you, and then start the attacks, right? Is there anybody else? Oh, there is somebody else. Let's force whirlwind you. Chuck a saber. And start the attack. And if you will toss a... No, a concussion grenade. Yeah, let's take care of that thermal detonator over that away. Or power blasting that. And I hate dividing forces like that, but I want to... I want to knock out his support. Yes. Oh. This car should be close enough for that heal to get him. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Flurry of misses. Easier than I expected. Where's your loot? I know you had to have some loot. No, nothing? Nothing? I can't loot the gun off you guys? Come on. <laughs> Let's uh, top off that health. Let's spread the uh, usage. Yes? Right, everybody's good, right? Okay. Up the basket we go. Having seen him under the basket, you understand... <laughs> What's there to understand? It's a basket on a rope. Alright. Raise the basket out of the Shadowlands as you begin the long ascent. Dun dun dun! This is the video that shows every time I go up and down the stupid basket. Well, down, it's the same video, but in reverse. I mean, ooh, this is what it's worth switching to video for. <laughs> All right. And there we go. All right. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Well, vines, rope. Weave enough vines together, it's rope, right? Isn't that how that works? Maybe? Possibly? No? Hmm. I wonder if we're gonna find that one dude that keeps not wanting to talk to us. Like, now that we rescued the sword and gave the chieftain his honor back, will you talk? Oh, hey. Seems you're more than I thought. Prayer came back and told me what you did for him? Okay. The fellow hunters split on what should be done. Some were loyal to Chundar alone. We had to fight. What fellow hunters? You're the only fool who's been standing here. Prayer went to the throne to challenge Chundar. I will take you to him now. Okay. Lead him? <laughs> yes, there's much about to be decided. Only one can lead us. Must lead us. All right. Well, that's just great. Everyone is here now. It's a reunion. By the blade of Banco's sword, I've come to end your treachery. No more will you sell uh, your own people. Oh, okay. Oh, so they're going to be delighted who's got the blade, who's got the hilt. We've all 
both have our ancient trinkets. <laughs> okay. You are old and weak. You're weak old. Last time we went. Oh wait, no, no, wrong way. Uh, shut up both of you, this ends today. <laughs> you tell them! Do none of you hairy heaps ever shut up? <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Mm. Quiet down will use us to our advantage. Hmm. I'm torn between you tell them and quiet down. It's the we'll use this to our advantage part that has me kind of like, I don't think that's as good an option as they want you to think it is. I mean, calling them hairy heaps, uh, while just shy of, you know, walking carpet, uh, <laughs> is equally useless. So let's try you tell them. I don't know what to do. Chundar has been telling me things. He makes sense. What? Are... Are there Wookiee Jedis? Is he doing some kind of Jedi mind trick? You want to sell your people off? No. Uh... Is not fighting an option? Could we work together? <laughs> ah, it's just better. Side with your father. Skewer your brother. Uh, I mean, no. Side with your brother. Skewer your father. No. Let's see if we can avoid slaughter. There is hope. Ooh. Can we resolve this without a war? What do I say? I still have Zerka support. I say you will die. No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. Okay. Here we go. Alright. Well, at least we got a fair amount of support. Oh, I so want to just go start hurling grenades every freaking where. But that seems counterproductive, so let's uh, get him in a whirlwind, let's get him in a whirlwind, and then, ooh, do I power attack? Power attack's going to really up the damage, but it's going to lower the two hit, and I'm not sure if his defense is high enough. Well, the Wookiees don't wear armor. They don't wear anything. Alright, let's try the power attack. And what am I going to get you to do? I am going to have you... Oh, you're going to try to talk to me in the middle of battle, all because I clicked on the wrong stupid circle, aren't you? Of course you are. That whole... Alright. Okay, fine. Yes. Okay, thank you. That, that was so not what I wanted to happen. Alright, let's get back to the original task at hand, shall we? There we go, there we go. And bam! Try to force whirlwind that, and you know what? We can have you beat on that dude there. And let me have you. Oh. Oh, they're not on my side. They're not on my side? Okay. Then you know what? Let's see you two double down on. Oh. Let's double down on him. There we go. Sure. <laughs> Light side points game! This is about to become chaos, isn't it? How'd you like that? Oh. 
because you need to power attacks coming in. So, turn to blurry. Yeah, the flurry's good. is not looking so hot right there either so let's go ahead and get a med pack in there power blast some fools get you to do a whirlwind on him and then attack that would be awesome thank you <laughs> okay of course We've done it. I'm sad that it's come to this, but I couldn't let it continue. Zalbar, my son, I am truly sorry. You've suffered a great shame. I was blind. I have no excuse. Oh, good. I can forgive, Father. I have learned a lot over the years. Ooh. Questions, questions. So, what is he going to do now? Turning home has lifted a great weight from my mind, but it has been painful as well. If placed by my side, I would be honored if you would take it. Well, if I can, I'll release you from life. No? Okay. I can't, not yet. I'm just getting used to being free and not just from the slavers. And I have a life debt. Now that my life is truly my own again. Um, dude, like, I can give that back to you if you want. Alright, that's not my son. His insight humbles me. Take that good judgment with you, and all the planets will come to revere Wookiee wisdom. Yes, the Wookiees, noted for their wisdom. <laughs> Enough, I want my reward and that I'm leaving? No. I think it's time I was leaving? Eh, not yet. What about the slavers? We'll fight them. It'll be difficult, but I swear they won't take another one of my people without bloodshed. Good. Okay. I'll send quick climbers to other villages and try to rally a defense. We must guard against this ever happening again. Alright. You'll be the last outsider. Oh, come on, man. Will I still be welcome here? Like, you know. I might want to come back. I think there's a couple of quests from other, that start on other planets that bring me back here. Okay. Uh... What other questions are there? Could they wait? I'll answer what I can later, but we need to settle our current business. There's much that needs to be done. Okay. That's fair. Alright. I think it's time I was leaving then. Before you go, I must see to your reward. You've done us a great service. Kashik will remember you well. Kashik. Sorry. Because of you, I am reinstated as chieftain. We will return to the old ways when honor and trust of kin ruled above all else. I don't know. He only had a 50 50 trust on the two boys. I'm not sure there's a roar that accurately reflects the value of what you have done. Our world is changing because of you. Okay, so he's got a request. I've thought about it a great deal. I would like Becca's sword. <laughs> Zavar, shut up. I want the credits. No. Alright, that would be fitting, I think. <laughs> well, it is quite a request. I'm tempted to say no, but perhaps I should consider it an investment. Is it a good sword? Is it worth credits? I, I mean, uh, is it a good sword? Zalbar, do you understand what this will mean? It is the legacy of our people, held by chieftains and future chieftains. Stand. I want this, Father. I'll bring it back one day. 
I have no doubt. Let the two halves of the blade be made one. My son shall hold Baka's sword. Oh. Alright, you know what? Let's get him out the party. Let's get him out the party. Now that they're giving me the option, let me get these two yahoos together again. Alright, journal entry added. Experience added. Light side added. Items received. Yes, please. Uh, ooh. And what did his body leave behind? Something good. Jundar's bowcaster. Eh. Where did, uh... Hello, mission. Why are you... Oh, shield. Uh, I'm sorry. I just need to check the Zerker guy for any lingering weapons. Grenades? Traps? <coughs> Welcome back. <laughs> okay. It's been so long. Like, seconds or something. Oh. Getting all mushy in here. Encounter some Mandalorian hunters. <laughs> I'm surprised that such a thing escaped my attention. Was the camouflage so great, or was I simply too struck by my emotions? <laughs> my people will never be weak again. Okay. Uh, so strange computer. And I'm seeing it during my exile. It wouldn't do much for me. I imagine it's some Zerka cast off. No, no, it's a little, little older than. That. Uh, haha. -huh. Older than the forest. It's like nonsense. What is older than the trees? <laughs> okay. I guess we're not getting any further on that one. I don't want you threatening our traditions. How is it? Never, mind. Never mind. Don't speak of this again. Okay then. Uh, what about the reward? This is a great future for my people and my son's hands. Yeah, sure, but I've got bills to pay. <laughs> oh. Oh, that is so tempting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sword. It's really nice, but, you know, there was a stocking fee I had to pay. And, you know, your boy eats a lot of food. And it's kind of hard to keep the stores full, if you know what I mean. No, no, no. Nothing. Let's just go back to my questions. <laughs> Okay, so those are my those are all my options. All right, I should be going. It's goodbye, father. Hello, father. Hello, father. Farewell to you. I thank you again. Okay, we have some leveling to do. <laughs> Auto level up. Oh. Huh. So I so despite a couple of. <clears throat> other choices. I seem to have maxed out the light side. Okay, we'll go with that. Level that up. Skills. Alright. Um, I've been keeping repair maxed up as best I can. Let me bump up demolitions and get treat injury moved up a little bit more. Because uh, I need some more ranks and treat injury. And as much as I'd love to keep computer use maxed out and repair maxed out. Uh, I don't want demolitions to fall too far behind. And I don't want treat injury falling too far behind. Because a lot of the healing stuff is based off of the treat injury score. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go. Okay. Ooh, I get powers. And what powers shall I get? 
All right, so I can go from stasis to stasis field. This power can lull the senses of a group, placing all hostile creatures within a 10 meter radius of a target enemy in a catatonic stasis. Gee, if only I had that when there was a room full of people trying to knock my head off with a sword. DC of 5 plus the character's level, wisdom and charisma. Slowed instead of stunned, does not affect droids. Yeah, I haven't done anything with the droid ray. Oh, wait a second. Force wave. Hello. This power creates a telekinetic explosion around the Jedi. All enemies within 15 meters are thrown 5 meters, fall to the ground, and are incapacitated for 6 seconds. And take damage equal to 1.5 times the attacking character's level. A successful reflex save at a DC of 5, plus the attacking character's level, plus the attacking character's wisdom and charisma modifiers, means the enemy is not stunned, but still suffers half damage. Ooh. Yeah, I've been getting more use out of that. That works on everybody, so let's go ahead and do that. All right. And you, dear sweet child, have got a couple of levels to go up, don't you? Attributes. Ooh. Decisions, decisions. We could put it in strength. It really doesn't do her much good. Because not all it is for melee damage and melee hit, and she doesn't do anything melee. She is all about that, that, that blaster life. Um, Dex could always help, because that's going to help her AC by incre and increase her reflexes and make sure that she can hit with the blaster. Khan would get her some more hit points, although honestly, as much as I'd love to bump that up, she seems to survive better than the old Jedi I dug up in the hinterlands of Kashyyyk. So, maybe not. Intelligence is going to get her more skill points, which is always nice, but I don't really use her much for the skills that she has. Uh, not like I probably could have made use of. Wisdom would help her will save. If I put that one right there, that brings the 11 up to a 12. Which means her will save would go from having a... Um, zero, that would go up to a plus 1. But that's it. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and bump up the decks. And when this decision comes around again, I'll bump up the decks again. Because that's going to help her armor and attack. And that's probably the best use of the point at this particular juncture. Skills. Demolitions, please. Sure, we'll go with some stealth. We'll go with some security. It won't let me... Bump up treat. Oh, because that's right. It's a cross class skill and it's about as high as it goes. So, awareness or computer use. Her computer use is so far behind at this point, I might as well just dump it into awareness. I guess I could have gone with repair, but that's a cross class and that's going to be. Yeah, no. Let's go with that. Okay. Accept. You have been granted the following feats in this level. Master Scoundrel's Luck. Oh, lucky you. Okay. And we level up again. You get some skills where we're going to bump max out security. We're going to max out demolitions. Mm-hmm. All right, let's bump up treat injury one more. As cross class, we could bump up awareness or we can max out stealth. Let's go ahead and max out stealth. I was trying to see if I could make better use of that extra point, but um, 
Doesn't look like it. Alright, accept. Ooh, you have been granted the following feats at this level. Sneak attack, seven. Would be even better if I actually used it. Okay. So she is totally leveled up and all that. I never did check on what that bar to the right of the character was either. Alright, let's level him up. Attributes. <laughs> Sorry, feeling a little under the weather today. <laughs> this con is 20. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. His strength is 20, which would be great if we were doing melee stuff with him. But since we seem to be doing more range than anything, I really should increase his dexterity. Because intelligence isn't going to help him that much. Wisdom be nice to get him a plus two, but that's going to take a little while. And seriously, there's no improving the charisma of a Wookiee. So you, you, don't, you don't bring a Wookiee around for its charisma. You bring him around for his strength. Because when you absolutely must beat somebody with their own arms, you look at the Wookiee and you say, go, get him. <laughs> Alright, so let's go with Dexterity, because I do, I do want him to have a better hit on his ranged, which is pretty much what I use him for. Alright, skills. Where do we want to put your skills? Uh, we definitely want your repair up. We definitely want your treat injury up. Awareness is always nice. Demolitions is always nice. Computer use. Eh, at this point, you're too far behind. Let's go with demo. Okay. Accept. And we get to do this again, where we go to the skills, and we definitely bump up your treat injury and repair. And demolitions. Okay. Now let's go to feats. Left feet, right feet. Alright. Hmm. He's using a two-handed weapon, so that whole two-weapon fighting is not going to do him any good, because he is doubling down on the rifles. Which also means that dueling is out. Toughness is worthless. Uncanny dodge he gets for his class, so there's no point in even looking at that. Melee weapons. That's nice, but that's not really what I was looking for. I could get him into heavy weapons. Which has an appeal. We could always bump up the blaster rifle to get him weapons focus, which gets a plus one to attack. Uh, he's got the power blast maxed. Oh, that's right. I was going to finish off that rapid shot tree and get that maxed all the way out. That was my plan, right? Yeah, because that flurry is for melee. We want rapid shot. There we go. All right. Done. Oh, I'm going to have to go through this with everybody else, aren't I? Alright, I'll get there. Okay. So everybody's leveled up. We got Baka's Ceremonial Blade. 4 to 14, plus 4 energy. Upgradable. Ooh, I'll have to hit the uh, repair table, because I think I got the stuff to upgrade this, too. It might even be worth taking the components out of one of the other blades that I've got and putting them in this one. And Chundar's Bowcaster. 3 to 12, plus 4 physical, crit threat. Chundar's personal weapon is a bowcaster with some unusual Zerka modifications. Most Wookiees would likely not appreciate such outside influence. It's not a curiosity, though. Zalbar's Bowcaster is 3 to 12. Plus 3 to attack. It is upgradable. <laughs> oh. I may just switch him over to melee anyway. Plus 14 to hit. 3 to 12 damage. Or I go plus 17 to hit. 13 to 23 damage. Hmm. I 
13 to hit, 7 to 16, 14 to hit, 3 to 12. Alright, so Chunder's uh, Bowcaster doesn't have as big a hit, or two hit, an attack modifier, but it does have more damage. So I'm not as likely to hit, but I'm definitely going to do some damage when I do. Oof. That's a big difference. 14, 13, so it's only one. 7 to 16, 3 to 12. Hmm. 10. Oh, that's a pistol. I got a few pistols floating around. I may have to spend a little time re-equipping everybody, too. I might do that when I get to the ship. That is very, very tempting. Hmm. Let's do that. Let's go ahead. Let's give him his brother's bowcaster. Mandalorian battle armor. Oh, strength gauntlets. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's not going to help anything yet because his strength is 20 and a plus one is only going to bring it to 21, which leaves it a modifier of plus 10 still. It's not until it gets to 22 that it goes up to 11. So let's, let's not worry about putting strength where it's not going to do much good anyway. That's going to bump Dex. That's right. Dex is going to help me with my two hit on a lightsaber. So I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. It's a dry cough. Kind of like it's a dry heat. Yeah, she doesn't need a strength gauntlet because she ain't going to use it. She can't wear the Mandalorian armor. Yeah, I'll have to go through that on the ship. Um, yes? So far, when I do all this stuff, I've been doing it all off camera, running around. But I think today I might take the time to do it on camera so I can talk out loud and go through uh, how I'm making some of the decisions that I'm making. But, uh... Let's see if the Wookiees feel any better about me now. Bear with me. Right. But do you hate me less? Alright, those are the same. Alright, what about you guys? Chandar deserved death. He made us fearful and weak. Well, that's a bit of a change. It is right that Chundar died. He was tainted by outsider greed. Prayers back in power. Slavers will learn to fear us now. Well, aren't you a bunch? Prayers back in power. Go check in on the family. Do you have anything to say? I don't know how to thank an outsider. I never thought it possible. Thank you. That's how you thank an outsider. You say thank you. You're still growling. There can't be that many syllables in that sentence. I just wish that you hadn't seen us at our worst. We can be so much better. We must be. Hey, Build Broadcast. I am enjoying this game wonderfully. Uh, it was suggested to me a while back, and here we are 13 weeks in. Just finished getting the second bit of Star Map. Getting thanked by the Wookiees for saving them. Alright. So we've generally improved. Oh, uh, excluding Dantooine. So I've done Dantooine, I finished Tatooine, and now it looks like I've pretty much finished Kashyyyk. Let me uh, check the quest log real quick. Yeah, because there's that last little bit with uh, Griff that we got to take care of. We got to go bring him one of the tack glands that we gathered up here. There's still the swoop racing that we haven't done. Might try my hand at that again. That has not been my strong suit in this game. It's still better than my card playing. Um, we still got some talking to Bastila. 
We might go ahead and take care of Nico if we can manage the swoop racing. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. Um, somebody's wanting to talk to us about a thing on Manan, which I believe is going to be the next spot anyway. And yeah, still the Starforge, Candorous is still kind of weird. And he's got more to tell, probably. HK47. Uh, we went through a whole bunch of the history, as far as we can, at least until I think I hit uh, level 18. No, a little bit sooner than that, but I got to get my repair skill up a little bit more. Uh, Chuhani, we didn't do too much with, so I, I should probably talk to her after I get everybody leveled up. Karth has apologized. No, he's the one that's been a little weird. So, I'll probably talk to him in a minute. Although, I got a funny feeling that in about 10 more steps, he's going to stop me and go, you know, that little passive-aggressive way of, way they have of going, I want to talk to you. But only if you want to talk to me. You want to talk to me? <laughs> Matter of fact, before we go any further, do you have anything to say to me? Is there something you want? Yes! To know if there's more conversation or if we've concluded. <laughs> Do you know anything about the planet we're on? Do you know anything about your home planet? Um, or if you help me with a problem, that's all. Alright. Anything more to say about yourself? <laughs> You've seen more than I would have allowed and taught me some things too. I'm grateful for that. Aww. How nice. I got a big walking teddy bear with the strength of 20. <laughs> this nostalgia won't interfere with your service to me, I hope. No. Alright, why did you request to take the sword? I'm not sure I really know. Father expects much of me. I guess I do as well. Okay. I think when I've learned enough, I'll bring it back to Kashuk. What happens then, we'll see. Alright. I'm sorry, we can't stay longer. You and I have important things to do, and I don't feel bad about leaving this time. I know I'll be welcome back. Uh, you're still growling at me. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I wish you well. Let's get going. Push and follow. It's almost like the game programmed it that way. What about you, sweet child of mine? Do you have anything new to say? I want to talk maybe to you about your brother. Maybe get the glands for him. Out. Or maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over a new leaf. <laughs> I know it's not likely, but it's all I have to hope for. Okay, so you're not going to say anything else until we go do the thing with your brother. All right, let's uh, let's go about making that happen. Hey, you have anything to say? <laughs> you're one of the few outsiders we will allow to remain among us in the village. Sweet. Alright, good. So I'm not completely, like, out in the cold. I helped you guys, and you left me out in the cold. Alright. Let's hoof it back to the ship. I know I could fast travel, but I do want to go through and... Oh uh, yeah, those are those supplies I never bothered looting. But I didn't want to imitate a Zerka guard. <laughs> yes, it is always good to have a Wookiee as a friend. Especially when you need to, uh, you know, bludgeon somebody to death with their own arms. <laughs> or threaten to have that happen. Alright, well, that's the way back down. That's the corpse we looted earlier. So I do want to go back to the... Uh, Uh, back to the, some of the Zerka offices and see if anybody's got anything to say there. Well, assuming there's anybody left there. There might not be anybody left there. I mean, we just we did just turn the Wookiees loose on them and go, Hey! <laughs> did we loot that backpack? Okay, we did loot that backpack. That's what I thought. I know we looted the corpse. No, I haven't done the Lego Star Wars. 
two, he just rips the stormtrooper's arms off. Wait, item lost? What item did I lose? Uh, no, no, okay. That is... Oh, I lost the droid head. Okay. I probably should have lost that a while ago, but... Sure. <laughs> okay, so this is what we started. Dude, why are you going to after a Wookiee with a knife? Like, seriously, how is that gonna... No, there, there's no way that ends well. No way at all. Like, yes. Let me poke at a Wookiee with a knife. What genius think that's gonna end well? Oh. That was quicker than I expected. Alright. I hear more blaster fire. Anybody over here? Nope. Got empty. Ooh, computer spikes. Always helpful? Guys. Seriously. What? Okay. Alright, I know I looted those two crates, so let's go ahead and help these rebels over here. At least I was smart enough to not go after a wiki with a pocket knife. And let's go down. Bam! Oh. Oh my. That was, uh, decidedly more effective than I was expecting. <laughs> oh, hey, pocket change. I got your last 50 bucks, right? All right. Is there any? Now you got me wondering. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. There might have been somebody I missed over here. All that running for eight credits. Get out of here. Let me go resurrect you so I can kill you again. Just a eight credits. Alright. Uh, oh, man. My shop's gone. Alright. I guess that was to be expected. Onward. Forward. Uh, anybody left on the docks? Nope. The docks are shockingly clear. Hello, Mr. Guard. Thank you for your assistance. I doubt we'll meet another one of your kind like you. Oh, if only you knew. We'll guard this landing place from now on. Yours is the only ship that will be allowed to dock here for a long time. Yikes. Aw, oh, he didn't leave his Pazat cards for me? I mean, not that I've been playing, but... I could always use a better deck. Who doesn't love having a better deck hanging around? You know, just in case. Especially if you had some of the nice cards, like the ones that give you whatever you want. Uh, well, I guess there's nobody here to need this, right? No problem. No Didn't problem. work. Skill too low. Yeah. All right. What about you? Your security Gosh. skills not that bad, right? Simple. Yeah. Your spikes, repair kit, med pack, yep. Gotcha. And this one? Simple. Simple. Ooh, an interface visor. I'll have to take a look at what that does later. Sure. Alright. <laughs> now, I don't not narrate audiobooks just yet, but I have been planning on doing some uh, public domain audiobooks as a little bit of a side gig. I'm still getting started on the streaming stuff. I just uh, began this channel in March, April? Yeah, end of March, beginning of April. And uh, still still trying to get things put together and figure things out. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of podcasts I wouldn't mind doing too. All right, let's see. Since I am here, Mr. Yeah, what do you want? I was wondering if you had any more war stories. 
I think I'll tell you a bit about the recent war we had with the Republic. That might be more familiar to you. The one where <laughs> Jedi Revan beat my people. We started by conquering worlds outside okay. the Republic. We did it quietly so the Republic wouldn't really know what was going on yeah, until I it was noticed too that late. Part. When I we finally did hit the Republic worlds, they had no idea we were coming. We came in through three invasion corridors in adjacent sectors. Anyone who put up a fight or wouldn't fight or wouldn't was fight. crushed. We raised whole worlds trying to provoke the Republic into fighting us. I don't particularly yeah. enjoy wiping out worlds for its own sake. See your enemies but driven the before you. Tactics the Republic to hear the lamentations left us of their women. Choice. All right, I don't particularly enjoy wiping out worlds for its own sake, but the cowardly tactics of the Republic defenders. Uh, what are you hiding in the homes of civilians, uh. using families as shields? Thinking we would not use appropriate force on their bases, on the inside, bases major inside major cities. cities. They underestimated our resolve and what measures are acceptable in war. Those who cannot defend <laughs> themselves should not be around oh. those who can those who in can battle. battle. Ooh, if annihilating a city is the kind of power it takes to overwhelm a Republic shield device, then that's what we did. Necessary force Necessary to force, destroy huh? all opposition. All right. <laughs> no, that's my kind of warfare. <laughs> no, I'm doing a light side playthrough. Uh, I could have found another way. Killing people is wrong. Uh, let's try to at least meet them halfway and go. You could have found another way. I have way. no time or patience for cowards. They deserve to be hunted <laughs> down cowards. and exterminated like vermin. There was no honor in uh. wiping them out like rats. But some of your forces did redeem the Republic in our eyes. Especially, Especially later. later. Uh, you mean when we kicked your tails? No, that's not going to help things. How do they later, redeem themselves? When Revan had joined the war. But we'll get back to that. We've <laughs> wasted too much time already. Is there something else you want to know? Uh, nothing more your for now. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Alright, uh... I wonder if my repair skill is high enough to try this. Let's try it again. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Ready to serve, Master. I... would like to try restoring some of your memory. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask, I only that, you ask that you be oh so very, very careful, careful, Master. I am too valuable too and well-crafted to, well to, to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Of Droid, please. Okay, let's get Statement. started. As you wish, Master. As you wish. You are already familiar with Lear, accessing yada, my yada. central control cluster. Now correct? you will need to. Now you will need fade to. Fade to black. And now rewire the oh, last success. three relays. Yes, good. Well good. done, Master. <laughs> I believe your operation Sorry. was a success. I can't hear him say that without hearing Palpatine. Yes, new memories. Access good. Access complete. I have Feel recovered the hate. last of my deleted memory, Master. <laughs> the last of the deleted memory, my huh? history is still not complete. So after all this work, your history is still not complete. All right, why not? Answer. As I did As inform I did you, inform Master, her. the majority of my memory is still locked within my core. That can only be accessed, be accessed by, the by the appropriate stimuli. stimuli. And I have no idea no what that idea. stimuli might be, unfortunately. Sadly, it seems my true origins, true origins will, always will always be a mystery. mystery. Alright, uh... I assure you core isn't damaged or eager to... Uh... Alright, let's start with Correction. the last owner. That would actually be my oh. first owner, First master. owner. The first the that first you can remember. I can remember. Okay. I had completed an assassination in Mandalorian space. Though I had no knowledge of what <laughs> no my target was, target or, or who, who sent me. Regardless, my motor function had been damaged, and I could not return to wherever I had been sent from. A Mandalorian soldier claimed me as booty, I believe. Did he, he claim you as booty, or...? Poorly, I oh, might no. add. Family and proceeded to use my assassination protocol to he raise his rank. Poorly. Uh, <laughs> does nobody decent ever find you? <laughs> uh, it appears no one could resist using your protocol. 
I gotta admit, there's a couple of characters in this game already that have tempted me. Alright, uh... Is there no way to find out who sent Answer. you there originally? Such knowledge is locked within my core, Master, as I said. No way there to withdraw There is no way to withdraw otherwise. it otherwise. At any rate, it seems that my Mandalorian owner finally decided to send me against Mandalore himself. Oh. My poorest performance, <laughs> sadly. Well, I mean, if you're going to go big, go big, right? You know? Why, why raise through the piddly ranks when you can go against, you know... Mandalore himself. Oof. My poorest performance, sadly. Oh, Answer. why is that? I was captured <laughs> by this Mandalore by during Mandalore. the attempt. He was able to reverse my programming <laughs> and send me after my own master. <laughs> it was quite distressing. Oof. There was little I could do. Needless to say, I dispatched the Mandalorian soldier efficiently. Once I deactivated, dispatching a lot I believe of I eventually ended up on the black market and overhyped. was sold to the hut on Slaheron. <sighs> My darkest day. <laughs> so you killed that master directly? Uh, just a traveling piece of bad luck. So you couldn't kill Mandalore. <laughs> yeah, I know. He seems so sad about that. Like, oh. Alright, uh... Man, I want to taunt him with the so you couldn't kill Mandalore. But I don't think that's productive. So let's just go with so he killed that master directly. So I did. I am not very proud of that master. <laughs> You're not proud of that one? You're proud of all the rest? Say. Uh, can you remember Answer. anything else? There are a few Mandalorian, few Mandalorian implants, implants that I can that activate, I can activate now. now. They okay. will improve my performance. Beyond that master, there is nothing, nothing more, more I can relate to you. With luck, we will discover the stimulus to unlock my core very soon. Alright, because your repairs, HK-47 will now regenerate at a rate of one vitality point every three seconds. Ooh. Fast healing one every three seconds. Yes, please. And has gained an additional plus two bonus to dexterity. Sweet. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess the next time I need to uh, mow some people down with my blaster, I know exactly who I need to take along with me. My walking self-healing artillery. All right. Who else have we not talked with in a little while? Alright, we got Candorus, we got him. We still need to pull everybody off the ship so we can level them. Alright, stores, yada yada. Anybody down this way now? No. So where did Jolie go anyway? This is my first time with him on the ship. Is he in that little medical thingy off to the side here? Yes. Okay. What got you got to say for yourself, mind. old man? Got something on... Uh, ooh, can you make a healing kit for me? I suppose I could whip up something. <laughs> yeah, I know. HK-47's such. got some serious disdain for us meatbags. Right. Well, not to say that you go leaping into <laughs> the path of blaster fire or anything, but I know how you young people get. Here, take it. <laughs> Sweet. Got something on your mind, dude? How many could you possibly, many could you possibly need? need? And okay. besides, I don't have enough supplies on me to put some more together. Ask me <laughs> later when you're actually in need and I'm less tired. Okay. I'm not a kit, factory, not a kit factory, you know. You know. I'm a doctor, Jim. Not a kit factory. <laughs> okay. Alright, I've talked to Z enough. He doesn't say anything. And let's see if Johanny has anything more to say. Yes. What is what it? What is it? Is something wrong? I... Oh, I have been I've been bothered by, by something, something huh? <laughs> Don't lay all your problems on me. You sure someone else can't help? No. What I is it? I never told you where I came from, did I? Where I grew up as a child? <laughs> I suppose I was trying to deny what I, I was deny feeling. what I was feeling. Are, are you hitting on me? <laughs> no, no, no. We'll go with what? I have been wrestling with my feelings inside trying to come to terms with it, uh -oh. but I find I cannot. 
I must have someone to blame. Someone that to blame for the healthy. destruction of my homeworld. Someone who yeah, is this responsible is really for the death of everyone I have ever known, except those on Dantooine. Sorry, but I didn't take uh, levels and therapist. I didn't see that as one of the options. <laughs> Yawning is probably not the right answer, though. So you mean? Taris. It was Taris that the Sith destroyed to try to kill you and your precious Bastilla. Oh. Taris, my homeworld. Um. Okay. So, oh, huh. Paris was your homeworld, and well, was very much. <laughs> I thought you hated your home world is probably not the right answer. Sometimes you need to make some sacrifices. Definitely not the right answer. My wisdom score isn't high, but I know what a wrong answer is. Uh, Bastila is critical to defeating the Sith. No. Uh, let's go, sorry. If it were not for you and Bastila, the Sith would have never had reason to destroy that world. It was your fault for being there, and your fault for rescuing Bastila. Without your intervention, um, the Sith would have had no cause to lay waste to my childhood. Uh... <laughs> uh... Why do I get the feeling there is no right answer? I've been in conversations like this. This feels very familiar. There are three options that all start with a word, and I'm pretty sure none of them is going to be helpful. Just let me vent my anger. I need <laughs> someone to blame. Something. Um, anything. I hated that world. Venting your anger Yet is how you came I up to be on my ship. I learned there. It is as much a part of me as the air I breathe. I have this ache inside me, where all my childhood memories lay, and I find your face there with them. Uh, if it was not for that's you, not that world would still exist. Okay. <laughs> I have no excuse. I'm sorry. Let, let's go back to the code. There is no emotion. There is yes, peace. I that suppose one. you did what you had to, and it could not have been avoided. The Republic needs you and Bastila. Maybe needs you more than it needed Taris. But it is so hard that, to but... lose your entire past. Right. You would not understand. <laughs> <laughs> so hard to lose your entire past you wouldn't understand you who started this adventure with no memory of anything all right uh it'll be yes. all right yes i suppose it will as long, long as, as you we remain, remain focused, focused on our task, task it will it will i am sorry i will try not to distract you in the future with my trivial experiences <laughs> we should stop for now okay um Yes. Need to continue anything else? What is, it? is something I wrong? I was remembering Taris. Okay. Uh, not this again. What about? It was a horrible place to have to live. Oh. At least in depends the on which level you lived on. Non-humans tended to get relegated. Living for years in a place with no sun, living off the trash dropped from the upper levels, and the meager pay doing back-breaking labor. And the right ghouls. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not liking my options here. I don't remember seeing any of the race on Terrace. Yeah, that's not gonna help. That's horrible. Maybe. How did you survive? My family and I struggled each and every day to make something of our lives. But we could only go so far. Taxes from the corrupt government, more fees from the gangs controlling the streets, and whatever was so left paying for what fees from the gangs and the government, fees from the gangs afford. and the streets, and whatever was left paying for what food and medical supplies you could afford. Uh, no one would help and you. And of course, there was the constant bigotry and hate from the more affluent of human citizens. Yeah, I saw that over there, too. Below. Every once in a while, a rich human would come down through the lower levels with his droid entourage just to see how the wildlife lived. Hmm. 
and laughed no. at the mockeries that were our successes. But I have come to meet many decent humans in my travels since those days. Indeed, some of the greatest people I have ever met are human. Decent humans are hard to find. Yeah, let's go with like uh, one of the Jedi. Yeah, one Obi of the Jedi, Jedi you met. Who encouraged me to join the Order? The one who was with the group going to fight the Mandalorians. She was human. I am sorry. I am getting away from my point. If there oh, even you had was a point. One, sometimes I curse the day <laughs> my parents fled to Taris. But then again, if they had not, I would not be where I am today. That's fair. Uh, your parents fled from where? How did you arrive on Tatooine? Um, let's go with fled another from where. Another story for another time. For now, we must continue our own <laughs> epic to save the galaxy if we can. Okay. And How we... may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Yeah, we don't. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Uh, tell me well, more about your past. I okay. mentioned before that my parents had fled to Taurus. Perhaps I can tell you about that. Please. Please do. In the early days of the Mandalorian War, there had been fighting closer, fighting to, closer the to the outer the outer worlds. Uh... Near the world your species comes from, or your people were in that region. Let's go with near the Gathar world. was there, yes. My people had a great reputation <laughs> as warriors, and that appealed yeah, to the Mandalorians. that seems to attract the Mandalorians, armor. doesn't they it? They sought to test themselves against us, I think. Test themselves by bombing our world. Slaughtering my people while they slept, or while they Yeah, ran. I should probably not tell you about the Mandalorian we have over in the, uh, swoop hangar. Alright. <clears throat> <laughs> the Mandalorians fought dirty. Your world was taken that easy. No. Uh, how did that happen? They swooped down from space, across the world, firing at anything that moved. They used ships in space to destroy all orbital facilities and bombard the surface. We did resist. And in spite of their violent attack, we yeah, did They don't sound as sporting as they like to uh, the pitch end, themselves. They were doomed. And that's what you get for being unprepared? No. And why did the we Republic not, not help? No, oh, that's right. Because you Cathar weren't members. was beyond the edge of the Republic in the Outer Rim. And besides, they could not have known. Our interstellar communications were the first things the Mandalorians did. Yeah. All other short-range communicators were jammed. We were on our own. Communications usually are the first to go down. We had fought the Mandalorians in the first war against Exar Kun and the Sith. We knew there would be no mercy for us. <laughs> the most we could do was pack the few of our people who survived onto what few mm. ships remained and send them off into space as fast as they could. Most did not make it. Uh, what about My your family? My parents carried me as a baby with them and were lucky enough to escape. They fled as far as they were able and eventually settled on Taris. They could stand running no further, I think. But Taris was a horrible choice. Dominated by humans, yeah, I can think of a few of other planets that so would have worked a little better. Everyday life unnecessarily hard. <laughs> Although saying your parents did not sound very wise to me is probably not it. Terrace is not not. Yeah, no. Let's go with how did your family cope? My father, my father turned to oh. stimulants. He spent much of his time in local bars okay. and dives. But we are warriors. It runs through our blood. I shouldn't tell you that and the when Mandalorian he was on stims, he, he, in the uh, he became foolish. hangar bay he his warrior nature will gladly make his stims if you ask. So he would get intoxicated, and he would fight. And finally, one day, he would die. Hmm. How did he killed die? By a man who provoked him into a fight and killed him like an animal. I, hmm. I am sorry. I, I cannot talk about this any longer right now. All right. Um, How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Can we talk some what more? What is it you would like to speak? Because this is about? the most I've gotten out of you since you've been on my ship. Um, 
I haven't been thinking about. much about our journey, and I am grateful and honored that you have accepted me with you. I am not used to such unbiased acceptance from one who is nearly a stranger to me. Oh, come on, we you're the Jedi on Dantooine. Or for long. Even on Dantooine, oh. I remained alone. Not okay, ostracized I guess that didn't work exactly, out so well but either. separate. Uh, hmm. <laughs> then you should be right at home when I turn my back on you. Ouch. Alright, uh... Must have been difficult. Tell me about your people. Let's go with the must have been was. difficult. I find it difficult to speak of those things. I do not want to live that way ever again. And here? It seems different. It is... It is warming. I feel almost welcome. Needed. You are needed. You seem to be very decisive when it is required of you. <laughs> it is reassuring to know that I can count on someone like you. It's only because I haven't found out how to ditch you yet. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. We're all in this together. Yes, and that is my point. I find it difficult to explain. It is so different from what I'm used to. Just... Thank you for accepting me. All right, I got a funny feeling that's about as far as I'm going to get with her. Although that's progress. Uh, I think I've gotten as far as I can with Z. So nobody's in here. All right. Let's see what you two have to say. We'll start with the whiny guy. Yes, what's on your mind? Why do you want revenge on Soul so badly? I already told you he betrayed us all. It just seems to be a bit more personal. There, there is more to it. I'm, I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. I asked, didn't I? No. If I do, if that's alright with that you. I don't talk about it very much, okay? I told you about my homeworld, Telos. Four years ago, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused, and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. <laughs> Millions died. I had a, a a wife and a son on Telos. I thought they would be oh. safe there. But my task force arrived too late to be of much help. We we didn't have enough medical supplies. The colony was was burning and the dying were everywhere. I remember holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but that the, they didn't come in time. Ooh. That is of course terrible. not. How could you? I, I I had nothing left after that. Really, I, I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. I, I miss them. And I know killing Saul won't bring them back. And, I, and it won't make me happy again, but I... I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. It's all I have left. Yeah, I got a funny feeling that, uh... Uh, <laughs> so a tough break you haven't gotten over it yet. Uh, no. Let's ask about the wife. She had courage, and... And she was stubborn could never talk her out of anything oh, when she put her mind to it. And she hated it when I signed back onto the fleet at the start of the war. I had planned on, on leaving soon to join her. Uh, so what happened His to name was Dussel, say. and I don't know what happened to him. The colony was a complete ruin, and we never found any trace of him. I made inquiries and followed the reports oh. from Telos for years, but I stopped. Anyway, I hope that answers your questions. Let's, uh, let's continue with what we were doing. Okay. Yes, what's in your mind? Mortar this? Nope, never mind. You got it. <laughs> and you. How can I help? <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about what you said before about giving yes, in to your emotions. Yes, I did end that quite didn't I? Perhaps yeah, a master could have addressed my questions with the proper wisdom, but I never should have brought it up here. Not with you. Part of my purpose <laughs> on this mission was to guide you in the way of the light. To help you avoid the temptations of the dark side, but I fear I've failed in that task. I don't How think do I'm the proper Jedi to guide you. I'm no master. You should have remained with the Council. Uh, oh, get over yourself already. Why do you the say that? The fact of the matter is, I have never possessed much skill at controlling myself. With the bond that joins us, it seems I have even less. You have maintained the path of the light side, but it has been in spite of my influence, not because of it. It's increasingly yeah. obvious I am unable potato, to guide potato. you properly. Uh, 
Oh, you see that too? I don't need you anymore. You're doing your best, I'm sure. So what now? No, you're doing your best. It's kind right? of you to say, but I think the evidence speaks for itself. I think... I think I may have made a very big mistake. I simply hope that you are not the one who pays the price, ultimately, for the fact that I can't help you enough. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Alright, uh... I don't, no, I'm not doing the I don't need your help kind of thing. Maybe we could help you. Maybe we could help each other, huh? That's a kind of response <laughs> that I deserve. And I can see there is wisdom in your words. You... you continue to be there for me, don't you? Even after I keep pushing you away, you're still around when I need you most. You're like no man I've known before. I wow. do nothing like what I expected you to be after... after the Council sent us on this mission together. <laughs> yeah. How did you expect me to be? We're made for each other. How did you expect or hit on her? Well, so far, every opportunity we've I hit on her, so. About all this. Things are. They're not going as I thought they they're would. Not going we should continue on with our mission for now. Okay. We got more to say. Help? Uh, no, no. Then mind. I suggest we move on. Alright, let me head to the workbench real quick just to see what kind of things we can upgrade and whatnot. And then I will save oh, I passed the workbench, didn't I? I get lost in my own ship way too often. Alright. I didn't pick up any lightsaber upgrades. Everything is about as good as it um did I? Yeah, no, I didn't. Okay. Uh, I don't think I picked up any of these. Okay, his bowcaster is completely upgraded. That's one of the things I was kind of worried about. Well, since Zalbar is not using his bowcaster right now. Hey, anime lover. How you doing? Study's going well. Alright, since Zalbar is not using his bowcaster right now, I wonder if it'd be worth stripping the upgrades out of it and putting it into one of the others. I think if you keep at it, you will you will manage that degree. Cause Yeah, you got this. Well, so far, every every time you've been on, you've mentioned it's been after a study session. So if you're studying as much as I've been streaming, you'll uh, you'll manage it. You got it. All right, let me um, let me strip the stuff out of the bowcaster since I'm not using that. You might be overthinking it a little bit. Let's upgrade Candorus's weapon. Because he is using that one. Karth's is already upgraded. That one's got a trigger. That one's got a scope. Alright, so let's get that one mostly upgraded and... Okay, yeah. Go to class, do the work, do the study. That's it. No big secret. Just a lot of work. Alright. That's right. All those are upgraded. Alright. Not using Missions Blade for anything. Let's bump that in there. In some respects, yes. Right. Hmm. 
Oh, that's right. I was going to go check on um, Canders. Hello, Nords, or the 2321. Ooh, never mind. Who else had heavy armor? Did Karth have heavy armor proficiency? Yes, Karth had heavy armor proficiency 21 or 21. Okay. War suit as, resi as DR versus cold fire. And the battle armor has DR versus electrical. Hmm. What am I running into? More cold and fire or more electrical? The blasters count as energy. So I don't think... Yeah, the energy is not going to take too much. Most of the other... Most of the melee weapons I've been running against don't really count as that either. And I want to say the uh, lightsabers count as energy as well. So... I guess we'll leave him where he's at for the moment. Although... That Mark three. So that is 7 to 14 damage plus 19 to hit. Ooh. 5 to 10 damage. Not as much damage and only one better to hit. No. Nope, nope, nope. He's better off with what he's got. What about swapping out his blaster? That's a plus 17, 6 to 11 damage. 17, 6 to 11, 5 to 10. Nah. Nope. Never mind then. Alright. Uh, what about you, good sir? We got you with a blaster cannon right now. Plus 17, 3 to 10. Because we've got some pistols, but we got a ripper. Plus 18, 3 to 6. Uh, one better to hit for a lot less damage? Nah. I guess I... Maybe I shouldn't have stripped everything out of the bowcaster. That, that could have given you a nice dealio there, too. 3 to 10, 17, 3 to 10, 18. Alright. So let's give you a Mandalorian assault rifle then. I know the Jedi are squared away so far. Uh, what do you have? A Mandalorian heavy pistol? 18, 6 to 13. It is uh, 18. Uh. Nope. Never mind. I mean, she could use the bowcaster or the assault rifle, but then she loses the bonus for the feet selection, which all require having a single one-handed weapon. Um, what about you, my little droid? You've already got a Mandalorian heavy pistol. Uh, 13, 6 to 13... That's as good as it gets. What about this assassin pistol? 11, 3 to 6, unless it's a droid. Uh, hmm. 11, 3 to 8. Alright, that's a little bit better. And that's against everybody. Hmm. 3 to 6, 3 to 6. Alright, let's go with the 3 to 8 then. That's at least a little bit better. Who else? Because uh, we already taken care of Z. I am taken care of. Basla's nothing new for her. He just had his cannon upgraded. Uh, we already checked him. Already checked HK. Jolie's about as good as we can get him. All right, I think that's everybody. All right, we got everybody upgraded. Everybody's good to go. We've had all the conversations we can have. Because nobody else is going to talk about nothing. Let's head up to the bridge.
Although there was something else I wanted to... Yeah. Oh, oh, the visor. That's right. Oh, that's just resistance against sonic damage and a bump to computer use, demolitions, and security. Nice, but not worth what anybody's got. Okay. Some advanced med packs, some life support packs, med packs, repair kits, computer spikes, yada, yada, yada. Journal entries with Bastila, Jahani, HK, and Candors. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Exit ramp. Oh. I thought it was going to tell me who was in which one. I guess that's too much to, uh, to hope for. Alright, let me save the game. Because for some reason, Star Wars has been really weird about switching in between the video and the game. So, I've saved it. It keeps crashing every time I try to take off somewhere, so I'm going to switch over to a straight feed off of the desktop. Since that seems to work better anyway, let's go to the galaxy map. We are going to head back to, not to Dantooine. We are on Kashyyyk. We're not going to Korriban yet. We're not going to Manan yet. Let's go back to Tantooine to see if we can help out Griff. Come on, travel. Come on. We've been good with the video so far. Oh, yeah. And away we go. Whoosh. Into the sky. Ooh. Ah. Don't hit the bird. <laughs> All right. What are the odds that I'm going to get attacked leaving here, huh? We're about to get drawn into a game that's going to kill me because it likes mini game. Oh no, we're going to get to a cutscene. Uh oh. Dun dun dun. Kalonord is dead, Lord Malik. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Carath. But the failure was Kalos, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malik? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend. <laughs> okay. Ooh, he has nice armor. He's something that's a little bit... Um... I'd say he has anger issues, but he is a dark Jedi after all, so, uh... <laughs> sure knows how to make an entrance, though, eh? Find Bastila and bring her to me, alive if possible. Alive if As possible. As you command, Master. Alright, I guess I know who we're gonna find somewhere in the very near future. And, oh, come on. We were doing so good. You know you want to play the video. You know you want to play the video. Come on. Play the video. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh. Let me switch this over to the intermission real quick. And... <laughs> you can look at the Jabba. Look at the cute Jabba. Actually, his name is Jabba. Just like the hut. He is fat. Just like the hut. I'm hoping I can get this thing to... Uh, come back around... If you need to go get a drink of water or anything, now would be a good time. Because the game does not appear to want to cooperate with me. Oh, I so don't want to close it down and start it back up again, because then it's going to start me back at the save. Come on. 
load. Please. Please load. You know you want to. <laughs> Come on. Play nice Star Wars. Alright, what are the odds that it saved it after the cutscene? That the autosave kicked in after the cutscene and it is now sitting at the uh, at the screen at the star map. Not the star map, but you know what I mean. At the navigation map. Because uh, right now, that is what I am hoping for. Because all I'm getting to. Uh, all right. Uh, let me get back, at least back to the camera, so you can see that I am talking. I'm not. A, I'm not away. I'm just having problem. You know, getting the game to load up. No. No magic. No magic. Yeah. I'm on. No. All right. Uh, hmm. All right. Let's, uh, try one more. Try that. You need to switch now. Yes. Yes. I hear you. You sound like you want to start. No. Of course not. All right. Uh, let me try. I really don't want to do this. But let me try killing Star Wars and starting it back up again. In the vain hope that it actually did a save after the cutscene. And I can go just right back to the game where it's at. Otherwise, we might be ending a little early so I can deal with Star Wars being troublesome. And it was doing so good. Come on, you were doing so good. Whoosh. What you're not seeing in that dark screen is the LucasArts, the old LucasArts logo. <laughs> That ancient Bioware logo. The nostalgia is real, my friend. Of course, that is the purpose of the stream, is to kind of take a trip back memory lane for those who have played the game. And if you've never played the game, to be exposed to it. And the last autosave was at 36 hours and 12 minutes. And my save was at 36 hours and 54 minutes. So it did not do the autosave afterwards. All right, let me try loading. Back to the desktop again, and let's give this another shot. Let's go to the galaxy map. Let's get to Tatooine. Let's hit travel. Let's watch as we take off. Can we skip the cutscene? We can skip the cutscene. Nice. We already saw that. Whoosh. Can we skip the exposition? No. So we get to watch the Dark Jedi Kalo do Nord Dark Jedi dead. things. Lord Malak, he has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The, the failure is dead. Is death, Admiral Carath. And the penalty for failure is death Kalo's plus taxes. Not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, yeah. Lord Malak? No mere bounty no. hunter can stand We're gonna do the Jedi. dude who'll do it for free I just out of sheer spite and again. hatred. My apprentice Because that is why he is here. He is full of, of spite and Jedi hatred. Friend. See? He's gonna make the Dark Lord dramatic entrance. He's still working on it though. Because he was just supposed to knock a fool over. He wasn't supposed to blow the station away. But he's working on it. He's trying to get a little more control over his anger. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> All right. Find Mr. Darken, address. To me, 
Alive. Find Bastila and bring her to me. Master. Alive. This is where things cut weird. Oh, yes. Okay, good. This time it decided to do its thing. There's a lot of sand. I hate sand. It's coarse. It gets everywhere. And provides clunky dialogue. I love Lucas, I love everything he did, but he really needed somebody to go, oh, oh no, 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 no. We, we need to talk how real people talk. Can we have a conversation about how real people talk? <laughs> he needed a couple more people to, to go, yeah, I, I know what you want to do there, man, but that's, uh, that's not getting you what you wanted. You want something better than that. All right, oops. How many times am I going to have to get lost on my own stupid ship? Alright, let's exit the Abin Hawk, and we should probably take some different people with me. Although, since I am going to talk to Griff first, let me add Mission, because it is her deal. Who is likely to have... Um, okay, I know Kurth isn't supposed to pick up his little epic side quest until... We start talking about his kid, and Jihani isn't supposed to start talking until Slavers, I think? That might come later. Alright, let's, so let's grab Karth. Maybe we can have those two bicker at each other for a little bit while, a little bit more too, anyway. Um, hello? I'm missing a dude. Party selection. Add. Okay. There we go. Alright. Hello, Mr. Customs Officer. Alright, somebody's story is about to begin. Karth! Karth Onessi, is that you? Jordo? It is you, isn't it? I knew it when I laid <laughs> eyes on you. You old uh -oh. space dog. How have you been? I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out there. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the ground. Must have something to do with your friend here, eh? How's it going? Your friend of Karth's or nice to meet you? Hmm. Let's go with your friend of Karth's, I think. Sure it. am. We joined the militia together back on Telos. That was a lot of years ago, of course. Oh. So what are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on, uh, well, Telos, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shame about home. Hilo still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and oh. I'm working for Zerka now. I didn't see you after... Uh, what I mean is, my condolences on your wife. I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. Ooh. My boy? Y you mean... Dustal? Yes, okay. of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban. Though he didn't recognize me. You... Uh -oh. didn't know <laughs> he was there? No. Uh, Jordan, Dustil has been missing since the attack on okay. Telos. Are you are you absolutely Dustil's certain it was him? On yeah. I'd recognize Dustil anywhere. Why do we get the Positive. feeling that there are dark he's, things uh, ahead? He's dark the things Sith, indeed. What do you mean he's joined the Sith? There's an oh, academy yep. for the okay, Sith never mind. on Korriban. There goes the suspense. They just there. tell you. I oh yeah, he's a Sith. He's over at the academy. And everything. Sorry. Over at Sith Community I College. No, no, I I didn't. SCC. Well, thanks for telling me, Jordan. Sure. No. No problem. Good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal? Dustal is alive. We, we have to go to the Korriban Academy and find him. Uh, <laughs> other priorities is not the right answer. Are you sure that's why? It's not so much so we'll go as soon as possible. Thank you. I, I, I just have to see him. I have to know what happened to him. All this time I thought he was... I mean, he must be a man by now. The Sith. I, I wonder if that's Darth, who, what's his name, who was sent here to uh, go grab us. By the way, aren't you supposed to be leveling up anyway? Everybody's all level, no, 13, 13. Okay. I was hoping. All 
Alright, while I'm at it, let's go back to the party selection, because we're not going to be able to advance his storyline until we get to Korriban. And that's going to be the last bit of map we find. So his story, just like we had Zalbar's story on hold until we got to Kashyyyk, which was uh, quite a bit after we found him, Karth is going to have to keep his story on hold for a bit longer. Um, we got HK's story as fleshed out as we can, so let's try Juhani. But first we're going to get Karth out of the party, and Juhani will go with that. Oh, she needs to level up. Why didn't anybody else? Okay. Let's level you up there. Skills. Uh, let's bump up treat injury. We might as well put up awareness because you really don't have that many other skills. You don't have enough skill. What do you mean? I, oh, because, yeah. <laughs> okay. Beats. All right. We got you mastered out on the two weapon fighting. Which means that the dueling bit is out. Those are all Jedi things. Um, you came with toughness, and I kind of wish I could get rid of that. The Jedi defense. We could always bump up the Jedi defense. We could always start down the lightsaber mastery tree. We could bump up the power attack. We get you started on the implants, which would also be nice. Uh... We don't really want the conditioning, and yeah, you don't have flurry anything. Power attack's nice, but it really seems like flurry's getting the work done these days. I didn't even realize there was a speed run of this game. It would have to be crazy. Um, uh, hmm. All right. So if I go weapons focus, that's going to add a plus one to all attacks. If I go Jedi Defense, that's going to bump up a plus three bonus to all Blaster Bolt deflection rolls. That only helps with Blaster Bolts. On the other hand, there do seem to be more than a few headed our way. Um, although the implant might be the best way to go because I can definitely bump up other stats a lot faster. So as much as I'd love to do the plus one... Alt F4 while well, quick saving or quick loading. Yeah, I've, I've been around this block uh, once or twice. I appreciate the effort, though. All right, let's go ahead and add the implant. All right, let's go to powers. Uh, just so you know, my degree is in computer programming. All right, we could top off her force armor, which would be good. No, no advanced stuns, but we could start her down the stun droid tree. Although, yeah, let's go with the Force Whirlwind, because I've been meaning to expand that. Alright, except... Alright, so she's leveled up, she's leveled up, and there we go. Pass the guards into Anchorhead. Alright, let me see if the Hunters have any new stock on the weapons modifications. I don't think they do, but it's worth checking in. Heard about that big fight in the dunes. What do you got for sale? Alright. Anywhere menu glitch. Advanced med pack, antidote med pack, named stuff, which is always expensive, and medium plating, which, yeah, all my droids have better than that. Alright, I was hoping he'd have better. I mean, I named Carbine is nice, and I can actually afford it this time, but, uh, it's worth it at this point. I might have to come back to that one a little bit later. That might be one of those off-camera things where I just fly from planet to planet and double-check and make sure I've bought the best of what's available out of where I, wherever I'm at. All right, let's head into the Zerka office. Let's go talk to Griff. 
who's still here, actually. You're I would have expected him to know. I knew you'd come through for me. I knew I could count on you. Uh, <laughs> I knew you I could count on you. Land for me, right? You got that thing for me, right? You got the thing of the thing? Uh, <laughs> I've changed my mind. I'm not doing this. That, that, that just seems needlessly cruel. Alright, I'm not giving the gland until I see you some credits. Uh, we haven't done that with anybody else. It'd be wrong to do it here. Alright, so here's the gland. Come to Papa, you sweet simian organ. It may not look like okay. much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Teresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune. Thanks, Mission. You won't regret helping me out with this. Yeah. Please, Grip, let this be the last time. No more cons, no more scams, no more schemes. That's all I ask. I think you're asking Sis, a little too much there, kiddo. That. I turn over a new leaf. From now on, I'm gonna stay out of trouble and do things right. Uh -huh. And once we've cornered the market on Theresian Ale, good things Anybody will be heading he's gonna my fly way. Straight? Then I'll make it up to your mission. Yeah, Just wait, okay. you'll I see. Thought so. You know, once we synthesize this and start brewing Theresian Ale in mass quantities, we're gonna be looking for some investors. You'll uh -huh. give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get uh -huh. you in on the ground floor. You'll get a return of, oh, at least 20 times your investment. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> okay. Sure. Could just toss the money his way. Although he did already promise me some money. Uh, Alright. Do I want to be brutally honest? Or do I want to be a sucker? Nah, uh, you've already hey, promised me. Don't worry, you'll get your credits as soon uh -huh. as we start mass producing that Theresian ale. I just wanted to know if you were interested in an even bigger uh -huh. payoff. An even bigger payoff, huh? I know I'm kissing away 200 credits. It's going away. And there is a small part of me that kind of wishes I had HK and could just, you know accidentally activate his assassination, it would be a tragedy. A tragedy. Alright. Here's the money. Wise Give move. me the light side points. I can see you really understand how business works. Now when uh, you I see understand chance, how the game mechanics work. Huh? That's my <laughs> motto. I better get started on brewing that All ale. Right. Meet me back here later and I'll have a down payment on what back I owe Back here you. later, huh? Yeah. I, I, I've been playing light side. My commentary hasn't always been light side. The things I've considered clicking on haven't always been light side, but I've been playing light side, except for those two situ two situations. <laughs> okay, credits lost, items lost, dignity lost. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. Why do I get the feeling I am not going to run into him ever again for the rest of the game? Probably because I'm not going to run into him ever again for the rest of the game. Ah, uh, well. As long as the kid's hey happy, right? What can I do for you? All right, let's I talk about your brother. everything you've done for Griff. You know that, right? I just hope things work out for him this time around. I guess we'll find yeah, out when he meets we'll up find with us out, at the huh? Circa Corp Shop. If he's got huh. those credits he promised you, then maybe there's hope for him yet. Hey, you keep hoping that, kiddo. Alright, uh, that uh, Mission's brother. Chris roughed off to brew up a batch of air. Alright. You can meet him later at the Zerka's supply shop on Tatooine to collect the debt. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I don't think that's happening. Alright. Let's see if the uh, supply chief over here has got him. Oh, yeah. Sweet jock. Yada yada. What do you have available for purchase? Life support packs. Computer spites. Zebrak battle armor. That does look kind of nice, but I think I've already got armor. That's got the kind of a bonus. Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get better than what I already got. Uh, powered light battle armor. That's right. That was... That was going to be a 10, and it's going to bump the strength plus 1 for somebody with medium armor proficiency. 
and I don't have anybody with medium armor who's going to need the strength buff, so... That's right, that's why I didn't buy it. Uh, Mandalorian Heaven Pistol, I've already got a few. Holdout Blaster is always nice, but no. Um, okay, nothing I haven't already seen. Alrighty. I am hanging on to the soul stuff because if I remember right, the guy on Yavin will give me a much better price for it than anybody here will. Hello, good citizen. Alright. Jawas, and... Okay. Let's try our hand at the swoop bike race. Uh, let's do another trial run. They're cheap. Alright. What is the track record again? Short I keep writing it down and then losing where I wrote it down. Alright, I think Zerillus was the uh, current leader, 2251. So I gotta beat a 2251, huh? That is the current leader. Alright, let's go back to my other questions. Yada yada. Alright, uh, let me pay for a recreational run. <laughs> now you're about to see why I didn't do too many of these. My closest match so far. Alright. Cool. Hmm. Alright, let's go for a time trial then. I might be able to make it. Alright, I'd like to try an official. Alright, so I gotta go through the hut. Yada yada. Alright. No thanks, goodbye. Alright, Mr. Hut. Let's give this a shot. So to speak. Ah, I see you again, sir. It's about racing or business. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's talk about soup racing. Yes, you'll be wanting to race. Sure, give the fans a good show. Yes, set me up with a race. <laughs> we need to clear up the positioning fee. All racers pay the same. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's 100 credits. Hmm. Do I really want to be out another 100 credits just to lose a race? Uh, do we try negotiating with a hut? Let's try negotiating with a hut. I don't feel that I need to. The price is reasonable. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, that is tempting. You want to let me race for free? Good so show. You'll make your money back. I don't think I have anybody with me that I'd kick up a fuss if I did a Force Persuade. Uh, now nah, let's try a regular Persuade. <laughs> yeah, I know. Try to out-charm a hut. <laughs> okay. Alright. I'll pay the 100 credits. Alright. Time to beat is 2390. All right, I beat that on my time on my time run. So as long as I do as good or better, we'll be good. Let's see what happens. New contender. We got a contender. I probably should hit that other one. That didn't make it. I did better the last time. Because I needed 2390, right? Yep. What do you call that? Winner's draw. <laughs> Lazy time. Oh. Alright. Okay. 
I'm sure you worked at the competition. Alright, I'll be back later. Tell me they regret giving you that track. Erasers over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Guys, seriously. You're worse than a Bethesda companion. Alright, uh, let's... Alright, the racing didn't work out so well. I may have to practice that one off camera because I will admit the, the racing is not not my bag. Although I really would like the credits for the uh, whatchamacallits and I would like to do the questicles too. So I may, I may do some more practice races off camera. Let, with the time that we got right now, let me head up to Yavin. Just gather your part. Oh, who's the slacker? Hey, don't don't you have the the force power that grants you speed? Or is carrying two lightsabers weighing you down too much? All right, all right, let's go. Alright, uh, actually, while I'm here, let me go ahead and swap out some of these players real quick. Alright, so, I know he's as updated, or as leveled up as he's gonna get. Let's add him, let's add him, let's get these guys leveled up real quick, alright. Oh, wrong button, there we go. Alright, level up. Ooh, you get a bump to something. Like dexterity. Yes. Because you shoot. Skills. We want your computer use maxed. We want your repair and security maxed. Where do we put that last point? In demolitions? Nope. Because that's cross class. Awareness? Nope. Because that's cross class. Uh, then let's bump security down one toss it into awareness because we're gonna put them somewhere go feats battle droid logic upgrade battle droid logic upgrade okay uh, fully experienced with the rigors of combat the droid is able to self-regulate its tactical reasoning and maximize its defensive potential this feat grants a plus six to defense and is always active. Ooh, nice. Okay. Um. Oh, that's right. We're at the point where you're running out of feats to give. Um. So, do we give you toughness or do we bump up your gearhead? Or do we give you caution? Cautions, demolitions, and stealth, which I'm not using you for as much as I am security and computer use. So I guess Master Gearhead it is because there's nothing else on here I really want to give you. All right. Add the feet. Okay. Accept her fate. I mean, accept. All right. Level up. And we get some more skills. Let's get security up and repair and computer use. Okay. Accept, and you get Droid Upgrade Class 3. Okay. Find me. What was Droid Upgrade Class 3? No. Droid Upgrade Class 3. As a droid gains experience, the program becomes more adaptable to new situations. This allows it to accommodate more sophisticated upgrades. Droid Upgrade Class 3 allows the use of Level 1, 2, and 3. Okay, okay. Better upgrades. Gotcha. All right, let's level you up, good sir. Which attributes do I want to bump up? Uh, Dex. Because you are my rifle totem assassin of joy. And uh, I would like you to shoot better, please. And skills. Uh, let's crank up the repair. Listen, demolitions or awareness? Let's go ahead and put it in awareness. Okay. And feats. A left and a right one, right? Alright, there's your battle droid logic upgrade. Now you, I believe, have some good options for upgrade, right? Yes, because we can bump up your power blast. 
to its max, or we can start you down the rapid shot line. Really think it might be the better part of Valor, because again, the Power Blast isn't getting us nearly as good a return on feet investment as the rapid shot. Although I would like to keep that around just the same. Yeah, let's go ahead and start the rapid shot. Uh, I would like to get that power blast at least up to max. So when I'm using it, we get uh, plus eight to plus ten. Hmm. Now let's go ahead and do the rapid shot. Kind of wishing I'd started that line earlier, to be honest. Alright, skills, repair, and awareness. Okay. Okay, so we got you upgraded. We got you upgraded. Alright, who else are we missing? We got Z, the kid. Okay, let's remove that. Let's remove that. I don't think we've up... Yeah, oh yeah, Karth and Bastila probably need to go through their upgrade bit. Nope, just Bastila. Alright, Madam Jedi. Let's level you up and... Ooh. Decisions. Where do I want to put that extra point? I could put it in strength. We don't get to the extra damage yet. Could put it in dex, but that's not going to help the attack yet. Could put it in con, but that's not going to help the hit points yet. I could put it in intelligence, but seriously, you're not getting that many skill points and you don't have that many skills. Wisdom would help the will save after one more bump up. Charisma is going to help with all the force related stuff right now. So a bump to will save and force points later or a bump to force points now. Later, now, later, now. All right, let's go ahead and bump the wisdom because I got a funny feeling we're going to need the will save a little bit higher later. As much as I'd love the force points now, I'm pretty sure having the will save later will be more important. Okay. Ooh, you get a feat. Oh, you gain the following feats at this level. Force immunity, paralysis, and master sense. All right. Immune to paralysis. Ooh, nice. Master Sense, this grants a plus six defense and is always active. Always nice. And your two weapon fighting is maxed out. You have no power strike to speak of. So we can improve the flurry or we can improve or add the implant options. I'm going to go with let's improve the flurry. We've been getting a better, better mileage out of that. And powers. Let's see. Let's get your whirlwind up. Or do you want to get you to disable wing droids? Ooh, the heal would be nice though. I do use her heal in combat. And the force armor. Force armor is always nice too. Uh, since I do have the heal on myself, let's go ahead and add the force armor. Okay. Accept. And let's level her up again. Let's get some skills again. What few she has. And the powers, okay. Now, do we upgrade the Force Whirlwind? Do we do the throw? Or do we do the heal? Uh, let's get her from push to at least Force Whirlwind. Okay. Let's 
All right. Uh, is that everybody? 13, level 13. Ooh. There I am. Forgetting that we haven't leveled up Candorous. Let's add, <laughs> let's add my two uh, dark minions just, just in case something happens while I'm in the middle of doing all this. Alright, let's level you up, good sir. And let's go ahead and bring your... Oh, no, not your strength. Let's bring your dexterity up. Because I got you shooting more than I got you hitting. And for skills, you don't get... You get a skill point. Hmm, let's put it in treat injury. And for feats, we got your armor all the way up to heavy. You're not doing anything with two weapon. Uh, your power blast and rapid shot are mastered out. Your weapon spec is mastered out. So, let us pop off your implant level. There we go. And accept. Level you up again. Let's go to the skills and let's bump up your lone skill. And to the feats. Ooh, now the decisions begin. Do we start down one of the other ones? Because we've already got we got the heavy weapons already tapped out. So we could start down the blaster rifles and get that tapped out. Or we could start down the sniper shot. Which is going to increase the chance of a crit. And it's going to lower defense by 5. Yeah, no matter how high you take that sniper shot, it's always going to lower defense by 5. Uh, that might be tempting. Could also upgrade his power attack in case we get into physical combat, but really, I'd be better off doing the flurry. Uh, hmm. Now, let's go ahead and bump up his uh, blaster rifle stuff. That way, we got a few more weapons options with him as we go. Because it'd be nice to have options. Alright. And that's everybody all leveled up and ready to go. Alright, let's get back on the ship. Since we've leveled up Candor's, what are the odds that he's got something new to yeah, say? Yeah, what do you want? Yeah, what do you want? Alright, tell me more we about We fought the against the Republic Wars. forces for some time, over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much of a threat to speak of. But once the Jedi Revan took charge, things began to turn against us. The Republic fleets began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints, counterattacks, mass deceptions. Revan was a genius on the field. Revan abandoned worlds of their defenders so that others would be too fortified to strike and was willing to make sacrifices in order to advance uh -oh. goals. And in the end, say Jedi, Revan right? proved oh, yeah, too that's much right. for us. Revan would eventually fall. Mm. I wonder if we're seeing the precursor? Uh, you couldn't have won against the whole galaxy. Nah, if Revan had not stopped you, somebody else would have. Nah, it doesn't sound like he's into that, so let's just ask what about the, the Sith? The Sith had gone, retreated into their empire. They sealed themselves off from the rest of the galaxy. We thought it would be centuries before they'd come back. It's amazing that they could rebuild their fleet so fast. But at the time, it looked like the galaxy was in our grasp. I still remember <laughs> that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. The two fleets filling the space around it, outshining the stars. Uh, but you eventually lost. Yeah, that seems like kind of, you know, rubbing it a little too much. Let's go with what well, happened in battle. It was not your ships or your men or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person, the Jedi <laughs> Revan, that you prevailed. His strategies and tactics defeated the best of us. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of his attacks, the tenacity of his defenses, and the subtleties of his plans. He fought us to a standstill, yeah, and then began like pushing back. Fell. 
We really didn't have a chance. Uh, the Republic will always prevail. Yeah, rubbing it in doesn't seem a smart move, so let's go with why didn't you it retreat? It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best, in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. Hmm. And we did. And Revan won. I don't hold a grudge against Revan, and neither do any of my people. It was the greatest moment of my life to be in that battle. If Revan had been a Mandalorian, nothing in the galaxy would have stopped <laughs> us. But wishing for the past to be yeah, different is now useless. Revan's a Sith. Better look to the so, future, uh, as we that. should now. We'll talk more later, I think. Is there something else you want to know? Your choice. Nothing I'm here if you me. want something done right. Uh huh. All right. Is it later? Yeah. What do you want? Oh, tell me more. The war we had with the Republic was supposed to be the most glorious battle in our history, but it was a very costly one. I guess we didn't think of how much we could lose in it. Uh. <laughs> there must not have been many you left. No, let's go with how much did you lose? There weren't many of us after that last battle. Mandalore himself Ooh, was killed at the I hands of the Jedi that. Revan. Mandalore was the killed best by of us Revan. Could not defeat him. After that last battle, those of us that survived were stripped of our weapons, our armor, and our basilisks. Revan's forces destroyed them while we were forced to watch. Those who hadn't fled earlier were left with nothing to call their own. No weapons, no armor. Only the honor of having fought in the battle we just lost. For many, this was not enough. While the rest of us were sent into exile on the Outer Rim, they tried to relive the old days, raiding worlds. They're nothing more than bandits now. And you eventually came to Terrace, or you found work as a mercenary? Uh, let's go you found work as yeah, a mercenary. I found work on Terrace. And forcing for Dark right. was not Same difference. stimulating. The gangs on Terrace and Davik's rivals were trash. They give no thrill in battle, no honor or glory in defeating them. It was like stepping on bugs. I sought worthy challenges, but the best that Terrace could offer were nothing to me. <laughs> but I think now, with you, I may finally find opponents worth fighting. Well, <laughs> I'm honored. Opponents who could easily kill us, I'm honored. You're a worthy companion. Let's go with your word. Maybe companion. later I'll tell you more about what it was like to work for Davik. For now, though, we should get on with our lives. Is there something else you want to know? Nothing your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. <laughs> here if you want something done right. All right. Um. Yeah. What do you want? No. Oh. Okay. Your Nothing choice. I'm here if you want something done right. I know there's something that opens up with him at some point. We've got HK taken care of. Uh, have we done as much as Jolie will do? something on your mind, do you? Oh, we do. Why did you, you got decide to come a with fast me? little ship? <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashik is an uller in mating season. Oh, um, frightful. <laughs> so you wanted a ride? Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket anyway? Do you never clean the darn thing? Dude. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm tell old, me. damn it. I'm allowed to be enigmatic when I want to be. And don't you go telling me otherwise. You know, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny, all of that. Breath like a bantha. Did you annoy this person endlessly, too? Is this a comment on my breath? I will take the force breath, you know, option as soon as that opens up. Alright, you're avoiding the question. So I am. Tell you what, when you get to be my age, you can go ahead and answer any question you like to. You have my permission. Anyway, where was <laughs> I? Oh, yes. Andor Vex was his name. Andor Vex. The force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. Hmm. Any 
traveled with them, or that's what you see around me too. That seems a little too self-centered, so let's go and you traveled I with did. them. Just because someone has the force swirling about them doesn't always mean they have a great <laughs> destiny. But it Ain't doesn't that the hurt truth. to check it out. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. Mm. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. Uh, you're making all this up. Is there supposed to be some hidden meeting in the... Yeah, I subtlety. don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't <laughs> noticed. Even if I had, I would never comment on it. We're talking about Andor, remember? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. Boring is the story. All right. How young are we talking? Well, let's just say that I was a strapping young lad with a full head of hair, mm -hmm. and Coruscant was a small town with a well. <laughs> I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever uh -huh. the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians, but at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning, and that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. Um... <laughs> uh... How did you know? Swirling force, remember? Jedi oh. here. Okay. Granted, I was just interpreting the signs, but we get trained in that sort of thing, more or less. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Yeah. Krat <laughs> decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. Oh. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed too, or this could have just been gurgling noises. Well, well anyway. <laughs> Finally, Grant has another okay, Andor Red Fox. and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Maybe Why Andor had something sensitive on the way down, or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. Everyone panics, and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly, and the Dimians never quite recovered. Changed the political course of the entire <laughs> sector for centuries to come. Well, I mean... I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? That is one way to fulfill the destiny. I hate you, old man. No. How can you be sure and or responsible? No. What's that got to do with hey, you coming for me? I forgot the original. I almost forgot the original question. One has the opportunity to see something like that twice in a lifetime. But anyway, uh -oh. go on. My throat is dry and you're making me cranky. Shoo! Okay. So we at least got a little bit more out of you. Uh, huh. Talk a little bit about past me. Okay. Perhaps once you gain more experience. You got something on your mind, do you? Okay. Oh, I get uh, it. That's it. Let's play with the old man's head, is it? <laughs> He's half senile. He'll forget I said anything. Said anything. Wait, uh, what was this about, anyway? Dude, don't. Don't make me. Alright, uh. What about you, now that we've done some experience? You, uh, I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Nope. Of course. Okay. Nothing if there new. is anything else, I am here to help. And probably nothing new with Bastila, so alright. Uh I could try to make my way to Yavin to talk to the dude and sell some things. But honestly, it is close to the starting time. In the last couple of streams I wound up running later than I'd intended, so I think. I'm going to do the smart thing, and instead of starting what should be a small deal and ending up going forever, I am going to go ahead and figure out where the button is. There's the button that I'm looking for. And say, let me save the game. Sure you want to save the game? Yes, save the game. And exit. And there we go. 
And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where we will call it an evening. Thank you for joining along. We play Games Revisited Thursday night starting at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Usually go till about 9 o'clock, give or take. And uh, whichever way the... Uh, Whichever way the winds blow, depends on where we are with the various quests and whatnot. And also, if you like Minecraft, we do a Minecraft stream on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. on the Coffee Craft server with Arcadius and Ray Est. This past Tuesday, uh, the video should be uploaded now and available uh, from this last Tuesday's stream on the YouTube channel. Link to the YouTube channel is down below. It's where I keep all the archives. So that if this was your first chance to watch this stream, head on over to the YouTube channel, check out the archives. You can pick it up from the beginning. We're not so far in that that's out of reach. And uh, if you like what you see and you'd like to help support the channel out, Make sure you do all the like, subscribe, and all that good fun stuff on Mixer, Twitch, YouTube, all the places that you're you're finding the content. And also at live.anonjunior.com, there is a donation page or a tip page, whichever way you want to look at it. I think I chose the tip verbiage because that seems a little little more a little more appropriate. This stream is fueled on coffee and bandwidth, neither of which is cheap. <laughs> And so if you like if you like it, help out a little bit. And uh, that is over at live.anonjunior.com. That'll take you to the Streamlab page where you can leave a tip. And you can also find the live stream. You can find links to social media, YouTube, and all the other channels and whatnot. And you can find a link over to my main website at anonjunior.com. So it is there that I'm going to say thank you. Have fun. Good night.